Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Betty Atruder, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Well, last time, we may have slightly crash-landed here on this little lovely beach planet, but on the plus side, we found the builders, the architects, the whatever. Basically, you know, the people who had the Infinite Empire from the previous cycle, except, um, yeah, now they kind of live in a shanty town by the sea, and don't seem to understand how ships work, so... We heard on Tatooine something went a bit wrong. There was like, you know, a, a disease or something. Something caused a whole bunch of rebellions. But, um, yeah. We're not quite sure how it got so bad that they ended up like this. And also there's uh, the Elders somewhere, who I'm guessing may be the ones who didn't regress quite so much. So, uh, fortunately, we can get some answers. Because they've got themselves a lore master, though to be honest, Jess, I expect the answers to be slightly mythologized and maybe not too much in the way of precise. Okay, so first things first, given I, you know, almost caused a bit of a riot with the Sands people, when we say lore master, what are we talking about here? And like, is it heresy if I ask you questions? Sacred and respected, keepers of history, the ones who pass down traditions. I'm here to chronicle the conquests and achievements of the one, that's the guy who lives in the Doom Arena. I followed his exploits for many years, and yours as well. Yes, because they knew me back when I was Revan, though possibly you can fill in some gaps. Like, I'm still not 100% sure why Revan originally went to the dark side. Like, yes, war is hell, the Republic were a bit on the annoying side, but... Presumably there was, you know, something a bit more than just that, right? When you came to the island, the one had only just arrived with his army. We spoke then, as now, you told me of your travels and stories of the worlds beyond ours. You spoke of the magical force you wielded, which gave you power over the elements. Okay, lightning. Yes, I can shoot lightning out of my gun. That's a thing I always wanted to do. I can now do it. It's marvellous. Then you went and left us, went back to the stars, never to be heard from again. We wondered what had happened, what could have gone wrong, but could do nothing against you or the Elders. Yes, because I've got magic and they've got technology, though from your point of view, the two seem to be about the same. But okay, yes, who's the one? And if he only arrived, like, recently, within my lifetime, where did he come from? What were you guys before that point? So, the story of the one would take many days to tell in its entirety. It is my speciality, of course. What would you like to know of his great story? Okay... Yes, um, where did he come from? Born to poverty, raised in a hovel with no elders to guide him, and share their strength with him. He had nothing to rely on but himself. Ah, but when he was young, he defeated one of the strange blue-armoured warriors who fall from the sky and feasted upon him. Blue-armoured warriors. Okay, some of the Mandalorians have been dressed in, like, blue or red over the years, so fine, if he can kill a Mandalorian, then he's a tough cookie. So when he was an adult, he was held in awe by those of his tribe as both a warrior and leader. When he challenged the chieftain, no one doubted he would prevail. The chieftain could see, and knowing the one would bring the tribe into greatness, offered himself up without a fight. The tribe fed well, and was stronger for his sacrifice. Okay, so there's a fair whack of cannibalism going on. You're not just eating Mandalorians, uh, you're also eating each other. Also, Jahani, please chill the flip out. And yep, more feasting on chieftains. There's a lot of you guys just eating each other. Marvellous. Okay, so the short version is he's a really good warrior. You guys were divided into lots of little petty tribes, uh, but he's bringing you all together. So he's doing a bit of a Caesar's Legion with you. Got it. Aha, and that's why he eventually came here the Temple of the Ancients. He thought he might finally be strong enough to wage war against them. Or maybe he didn't know what they were, but yeah, rapidly figured out that uh, though he's got a big army, they're a whole nother level in terms of magical technology. So, a thousand of his strongest warriors, uh, and here we stay. Okay, so he came for a war, but it's a war that's not actually going very well. We can't enter while the Elders stand against us, uh, but they can't leave uh, while the temple stands unopened. So, okay, you guys are stuck in a bit of a stalemate, gotcha. So, what about the ancient histories? There was nothing you could call the Rakatan people. There were unintelligent proto-Rakatan wandering the surface of this world. Okay, that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right at all, or maybe... Uh, maybe it is... Okay, spawned from the womb of this world, they were gifted with the brilliance of thought, but not tempered with the wisdom to use it. 
Okay, when the god of the sky first spoke to them, the ground shook and heaved, the fires raced across the surface of the world, they fled beneath the ground to escape the calamity and dwelled there for some time. At last the god spoke to them in dreams, dreams of the surface and the light. They re-emerged from the ground and found the land much changed around them. Gone were the plains and valleys they had known, instead there were islands stretching across the breadth of the world. The world had been remade for them by the gods of the sky, and they gave thanks in fear and gratitude. Okay, so they were just floating around, they hid underground, and then when they came back up, their world was suddenly islands that had been flooded. Okay, that doesn't really sync up with what we know about the Infinite Empire and whatnot. So, yeah, the, um, the gods... The world is ruled by gods of earth and sky, both living and dead. When the sky gods remade the world, the gods of the earth who had sheltered and protected the Rakata were gone. Whether dead or asleep, they have not been heard from again. Nor do the gods in the sky listen to our pleas any longer, though we can still see their light gleam in the heavens. So we Rakata are left here to our own devices to make the future we demand for ourselves. Okay, so possibly the fall from the Infinite Empire was just so long ago... They can't remember it. Or this was like a splinter group. We can't be certain that these guys who I think they are, like, they look the same. But that doesn't mean that these guys or their ancestors were the Infinite Empire. It might have been, yeah, some of them who went elsewhere became the Infinite Empire. These guys just stayed here. So, yeah, this is all, this is not what I was expecting. So the first awakening, that'll be the moment when they came out and... Uh, Yes, they brought light civilization to the new world, uh, spread far and wide across all the islands. So this is uh, after they hid, uh, then came back out. So among these people, there were some that rose to greatness on the largest islands. Rakatans of vision and forethought, who built monuments to themselves uh, and their leaders. But these cultures did not know their true strength. They did not draw upon the knowledge of the past to feed their present. Of course, these cultures, uh, with their sense of learning and their great temples, uh, collapsed in riots and chaos, burning their cultures from the world in an orgy of violence. It was a thousand years of darkness before the light of the First Empire rose uh, upon the blood of the past. Okay, so, yes, the First Empire, after a thousand years of absolute flipping chaos. Though, that's not long in the grand scheme of things. We understand the builders were like... 30-odd thousand years ago, I think, was mentioned to us back on Kashyyyk. So, yeah, this is not long in the grand scheme of things. Here we go. On a small island near the equator, they'd not forgotten the oldest traditions, those learned from the gods of the earth, while we dwelt beneath the surface. Taking the knowledge of their elders and passing their wisdom and skills on to the next generation by eating their flesh, they built a culture unrivaled throughout history, greater even than your republic. Okay, you say this, but if this was a thousand years ago, that definitely wasn't the Infinite Empire. So, uh, for millennia, this empire stood, uh, uniting the many islands of our world into one cohesive whole, each generation uh, passing its strength onto the one that followed. Okay, either they've got the timeline all wrong, or they're just wrong, one or the other. Fate was unkind to the great Rakata, those first ones of our kind to rise above savagery and create a true lasting civilization. Yeah, here we go. So, what happened to them precisely? Ah, here we go. So, there were rumours of those who survived above the surface while we dwelt below. So, yes, there might have been a fragmenting of society. We can pinpoint no direct cause for the collapse of the First Empire, but it was swift and total. What had taken centuries to build and was maintained for thousands of years disappeared within 10, maybe 20 years. From the ancient cities we have examined, there was much fighting and death, as well as fires that burnt bright and hot enough to melt the stones of their palaces to glass. Okay, so not a fire, bombardment from above, like what happened to Tatooine. So, yeah, you guys were bombarded by, well, yourselves. Okay, I'm still not 100% following here. The elders might be able to flesh this out somewhat. A people unlike the Rakata, but who took our form, who waged... Oh, okay. What this war was, or who those beings were, we don't know. But they are demons of our legend now. We believe them to be gone, wiped out in that vast... Oh. Okay. That's starting to make a tiny bit more sense, actually. So, potentially... Yes, society, there wasn't like a divergence in terms of species. Uh, you guys are the descendants of uh, 
the slave underclass, because we know that the Infinite Empire used slavery, not just alien. Obviously, before you go out of your way to enslave entire alien worlds, you enslave your own folks first. So, you guys are the descendants of the slave class, aren't you? You were kept here, or maybe implanted here. This isn't the Rakata homeworld, it's just some place where you guys were dumped to work. But something went wrong. You thought they were demons or they'd taken your form, but they're not. They're just you, the leaders of you. And when you stopped being useful or they got bored of you or whatever, they tried to glass your planet, just like happened to Tatooine. But this planet ended up being, then again, does that sync up with the... Well, this is a creation myth, so if the timeline's kind of a bit fuzzy, that's fine. That's to be expected, but... Okay, let's see if I can put this together here. Somewhere in the galaxy, there's the original Rakata. This is like 30,000 odd years ago. Okay, they start enslaving some of their own because that's just what their society does. Eventually, they achieve spaceflight, they find other aliens, they enslave them too, they put together the Infinite Empire. But they're not necessarily going to use aliens for everything. Sometimes they're going to abduct aliens, dump them on a useful planet, set them to work doing something that planet's good for producing, like, say, the massive ash trees on Kashyyyk, or agriculture if it was maybe food production instead. But sometimes they might use their own people as well, if there was maybe an overpopulation crisis. They take some of their own, they dump them on this planet. This planet does something, but we don't know what it was yet. Eventually, something went wrong, the Empire started falling apart, that plague we mentioned previously, and they started, yeah, nuking their own colonies to stop them rebelling. In Tatooine, they glass a fertile planet into glass, which turns into sand. Over here, they nuke the place, and it basically just sinks the entire world. All of a sudden, it's islands. The descendants of those slaves come back out again, but the myth all gets a bit, you know, fuzzy over time. So, okay, that's the best I can put together for now, anyway. Also, John, you know why they were here. They were building the cocking Starforge. Okay. So, yeah, that might vaguely make sense. Why did they eventually just nuke this place and move on? Because the Starforge was finished. So, yeah, they didn't need the slaves anymore, so they just sort of nuked the planet and moved on. Which, as far as these guys is concerned, is pretty much now a creation myth, because these are the descendants of those who survived underground. Gotcha. Well, maybe anyway, I'm just kind of piecing it together out of what I can. Also, we got ourselves a Luo right here, so you might have something to add, friend. Nothing dramatic, he's just a warrior who was curious what the Force was. So, you know, I told him it was the ability to shoot lightning out of your hands, it was marvellous. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. These guys want the Elders dead because their leader wants to eat the Elders' heart or whatever in order to gain ancient knowledge. Not 100% sure I want to facilitate that. Might want to have a chat with the Elders first, just in case. Okay, and now we're outside on the lovely, lovely beach. Oh, it's very nice here, isn't it? Right, so we got ourselves uh, some baby Rancor, who you guys have domesticated. Good job. Uh, but yeah, I still need... Uh, I still need that ship part, which I kind of thought was on this beach, but uh, whatever, eh? Ah, here we go. The massive ship is more in this direction. So, right, ignore all these guys. They don't appear to have uh, names or anything. So, uh, just got to find a way to get over to that there ship. Because that definitely feels like uh, where I ultimately want to go, except to own. Okay, I can't get down to that massive ass ship because, hang on. Yeah, looks like that's just not how it goes. Yes, unfortunately, me and the rest of my team can't swim, so... Uh, Right, the temple it is, I guess. Okay, brand new area. Can't help but notice we got ourselves wild rancor, though. Fortunately, a bit on the... Okay, I'm going to be honest, that was several rancor. Um, what we should probably do is just, uh, yes, focus our attention on just... I'm out of range of the other two. Right, um, you guys getting over there. Rancor, last time we ran into them, kind of just straight up murdered us. But, uh, if we're lucky... Maybe this one less so. So you guys just uh, get in over there and just start using Flurry over and over again. Everything's under control, I'm sure. I'm just going to try and, you know, kill as many of them as possible. And no, kill him. And okay, he can save. Maybe just try shooting him. How tough are we talking here? Oh, they're not that tough. Okay, we're fine then. We're all 100% fine. Sorry, I thought these guys were a big deal. But these are just babies or something. So it's not actually a big deal at all. So... Uh, Okay, got a fair few Rancor around, uh, but 
But hopefully, some of them over there look a bit bigger. Am I imagining it, or do they look much bigger than the ones I just took on? Right, well, everyone's leveled up, apparently, so okay, let's get you guys... Oh, bloody hell. Chewie, you're so boring with your level ups, dear, oh dear. Jahani, that's a bit flipping better right over there. So, yes, keep your awareness ticking up so we don't miss anything. Feats. Ooh, what are we going to give you these days? Because we've already got you pretty much everything you could ever want, actually. May as well just take a lightsaber focus. That's absolutely fine. Critical strike. No, 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 no. Not that one, please. Definitely the lightsaber. Actually, as for her powers, Jahani, what do you need to uh, wrap yourself up here? i tell you what, as she's on my front line and need her to be tanking, let's just give her a bit of force resistance, because we're going to be going up against some big-ass tough Jedi sooner or later. Okay, so head over to, yeah, the right of the temple. You cannot just actually uh, go, oh, never mind. There's something here. I thought there was nothing here, but there's, oh, hello, it's Mandalorians. Right, so, uh, yes, as I suspected, uh, you guys are around, and I'm a little bit surrounded at this point. Okay, the red one's normally the leader, though, to be honest, we should probably run. I've been bloody poisoned. Okay, anyone who's been poisoned, uh, please start off by curing yourself. If you'd be so kind. Uh, Chewy, you just start working on... Ooh, there's the captain. Larty flippin' da. Right, you just start wailing on, uh, him. Once we're done with that, just wait for everyone oh, to yeah. use their... There we go, lovely. And you're just tossing more bloody grenades at me, aren't you? Dear oh flippin' dear. Right, I need to get my flipping... What have I been? I've been flashbanged or something. I need to get my speed on. And Jahani, I need you to make us all better at, like, stuff. Because, seriously, I'm just kind of being shot a fair whack at the moment. Oh, I'm in a glue grenade, aren't I? Uh, on the plus side, I seem to be doing pretty well in terms of uh, dodging. I'm doing a good job in that regard, though, if I'm stuck here, can I use my force abilities? Because, uh, oh, I'm being hit by a lot of cocky... They're just tossing grenades at me. Okay, so now, now I'm just frozen and glued, uh, or something. The rest of my team's doing pretty well, though, so that's nice. I don't know what Jahani's getting on with. Uh, Jahani, I wouldn't mind a little bit of healing. Maybe a bit of force resistance, actually. Then a bit of... Uh, yeah, then a bit of healing. Hang on, is it force resistance or energy resistance? Which was the one that helps the entire team? Okay, drop a bit of healing anyway. Because I'm just stuck standing here while they toss grenades at me for fun. So this is... I'm having a lovely time, by the way. Because they're just, they're just tossing grenades at me. Over and over again. Okay, um... I need to just heal... Actually, can we just do some of that? So, okay, I'm using my gun. I think I've killed the captain. Okay, so now I need to get my health back. I've also leveled up off that. I can't cocky move. <laughs> I don't think you can use force powers while you're held in place either. So, I'm just going to start going for this guy and desperately try and, like, you know, survive. Um, Chewie, do you want to go for this guy and just start wailing on, uh, wailing on him? You can just keep working on this person. You just keep us healthy, Jahani, because they're just... They're just tossing grenades, but they can't actually hit me. All the shots are missing because I'm just sort of... I'm just dodging. Okay, I think I can move. I think I can move, but they can't actually cocking hit me. Good, 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 good. That means I can start killing them. So screw you. Oh, they're very good at... Uh, oh, no, never mind. You are dying. Good, 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 good. And now, screw you as well. Shoot you a little bit. And okay, now I can actually move. I can just blast everyone. That was a bit of a tough ambush right there. Okay, so on this planet, things are getting a bit more serious. What do the uh, the caps have on him, by the way? Anything good? Uh, Mandalorian head. I'd have called it a helmet myself, but maybe we've literally got his head in our bag. I don't know. Also, I swear to God, by the time we're done in this, I'm going to remember that a thing that I've got in my pocket is those stems that I can use to massively boost my... Uh, yeah, dexterity, which I've got like 20 of, so I should really be using those. Uh, by the way, could you just uh, heal us, please? Thank you. And as for me, time for... Ooh, I'm guessing this is my final level up, level 20. That's the... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the cap because I'm on the final world right now. So, uh, okay. Need to think very carefully about this. Can I, can I back out, by the way? Okay, I can't remember... What my... No, 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 no. I know that right now my dexterity is one short of an even number. I think I'm on plus seven right now. If I take one more dexterity, 
I'll be on plus eight, which is as high as you're allowed with robes. So that's what I want to do. Then I get myself some skills. That's completely worthless, but okay, all that repair was for nothing. So sure, persuade a 20. Maybe we'll talk down Malik and persuade him to be best friends. And oh, well, that's just nice. Two force powers for my final. So okay. Okay, 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 okay. What do I need to do here? What's my best option going forwards? Because I'm aware the final confrontation is coming up. I could give myself a basic Force Valor. Because that is plus two to everything. But that won't help my dexterity anymore. For the simple reason that, yeah, that's now already at plus eight. So at this point, I'm restricted by even my robes. So I won't get any benefit to dexterity. Strength is garbage to me anyway. It would give me a bit of a wisdom boost, but I'm not sure that's actually worthwhile. So I'm kind of getting to the point where, yeah, even Force Valor can only do so much for me. I could give myself Cure, but I feel like if I want healing, then down over here, the dark side healing, drain life. So, okay, hang on. A basic heal, I need to think very carefully about this. All party members, that is at five vitality points, Plus one for every Charisma and Wisdom modifier. That's... and also the level all. So, uh, five. Uh, Twenty is my level. And then modifiers for Wisdom and Charisma. That's like... I don't know, four? About four each for me? So, uh, like, thirty-something, basically. Whereas Drain Life is only, yeah, on average, maybe twenty-five. Which is less, but it does also literally drain the opponent. Though, you can't fail... A heal. You can fail that, but it's going to be expensive. Drain Life's going to be a lot cheaper for me, because it's a dark side power. I can just keep spamming that all day. Ah, but here's the key. Force Storm. One, a Force Storm is going to do a lot of flipping damage. 10 to 60, so on average 35 points of damage, which is not bad. But, if you save against it, that just reduces the damage by half. Though, does that include the Force Points? Because I could drain Malik's force points from him. Yeah. Okay, I've got two points. I'm going to take lightning up to its maximum level. And I'm going to take drain life. Because death field is... That's the same thing, but like wider. So if I'm just looking for one-on-one -on -one healing, I think that's it. I think that's going to be the final build right there. We're going to have Drain Life. We're going to have Force Storm. We're going to be having, yeah, obviously we've got Plague and Kill. I've also got Dominate Mind. And I've already got myself Force Breach. So I can guarantee I can use those powers. And I've got my speed. Yeah, that's it. I'm pretty sure that's me. This is the final evolved form of Bang Blitzman. An entirely good, honest, decent person, as you can see. There we go. Now my adjusted dexterity is 26 for plus 8 to all dexterity rolls. So that there, that's not bad. I'll flip and take that. Now there's a path down in this direction that goes down to the south beach. I'm going to check that out first because yes, the beaches seem to be where the ships have crashed. So I still need that damn part. Speak of the devil, we've got, oh, we've got a tiny frog. Who's, are you about to steal the one... No, you're here to warn me about mines. Okay, so... Jahani, you've got really high awareness. How about we just... Yep, here we go. Jahani can figure it out. And uh, what should happen is... Yeah, Jahani can detect this stuff. Chewy, you should be able to pick it up, right? You should be able to pick up everything, in fact. So, uh, plasma vents... And skill too low. Okay, can you at least get rid of it so we don't all die? And the answer there is... Good! Okay, Chewy can get rid of all of this. So, disable, but even taking 20, he can't actually sort it out. That's a bit of a shame. I kind of thought I'd max that out effectively when I was allowed to take 20, but apparently... Chewy, you had one cooking job. Anyway, I'm guessing this might be... Items received. I really hope those are important. Oh, that reminds me. Thing I keep forgetting to do. There is a way to check what you've just received, apparently. No, the comments lied. Someone told me it was in the feedback, but it is not in the feedback. Well, it says there's similar enough ship parts to be used to fix our ship, but I don't actually know they're like, you know, 
the parts I was looking for. So, hopefully they are. Still, keep on keeping on. There might be more down on the beach yet. And, uh, wild rancor, you say? Well, we'll just be, uh killing that and then opening fire on him in a moment and then just pew 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 lovely everyone seems to be pretty dead right there yeah okay so wild rancor are not as tough as the ones in the sewers we once uh ran into apparently i'm now Ooh. okay i get the feeling this might be the elder camp and yeah i'm working under the assumption you guys are well you still potentially... Maybe these guys, in my elaborate personal fan fiction, these guys are part of the class that enslaved the others, but they just got sort of uh, left behind. Because the Rakata are dicks, I see. Or rather, I'm just kind of guessing. So, okay. This will be the Elder Camp. That's all absolutely fine. Leave that for now. Let's clear out the rest of the Temple Grounds first. Right, just doing a bit of wild rancor hunting. I'm gonna be honest, they seem to be not very good at resisting my little mind tricks, or indeed me shooting them in the face. So, right, just clear out these guys. Uh, not sure if, you know, the elders might be going to say, Oh no, the rankers, we don't really like them. Please help us kill the rankers or something. Uh, if they are, I'm gonna be, you know, getting a bit ahead of myself here. These rankers do not seem to on the, uh, the tough side. I think it's fine. Then we'll just, uh, shoot them in a second. Job flipping done. I'm magnificent at murdering rancors. It's okay, little Gizka. You're safe now. They can't eat you anymore. Okay, just out of interest, I'm assuming I can't just go into the... Ooh, mysterious thing. So, powerful energy shield, uh, can't just go through that. Gonna be needing permission uh, from the elders. And also kind of want their take on the story, because uh, I'm guessing their story is going to make a bit more sense. Okay, so we get ourselves uh, lightning between the pillars, but potentially if I just walked through the pillars in the right, you know... Uh, order or something. Okay, cutie keys. Uh, show me what we got here. Nothing. Just a handful of gizka. Nothing I can interact with. Oh! Okay. Never mind. Uh, just running up to it. Bad call. Fine. So, pretty strong. The magics. Gotcha. Okay, let's just try walking in the front way towards the door, except, hang on, if I... Okay, just in theory, if I put on a dueling shield, that's energy resistance. If I just walk in... Well, I'm not exploding yet, so that's good. And... Ah! You're not Rakata. What is your business here, off-worlder? Okay, so... Previously, whenever the Rakata show up, these guys just murder the Rakata. But they know I'm not Rakata, so they've actually said hello, so uh, maybe don't mention the Rakata. Let's see if we can get any answers out of you, because uh, yes, I suspect you're the descendants of the people who are like the slave masters, uh, and they're the descendants of the slaves. Am I vaguely right here? Well, you're a hologram, but like, you know, the people inside, assuming there are people inside. There might be no one inside, uh, but like, oh, it might be automated. There might be no one in here. The elders might just be an automated system. It's just... The Rakata don't understand that. We are the Elders, uh, you will answer our question. Okay, so they're a bit smug and uh, ghibli, gotcha. Who are you? Why have you come? I'm after the Starforge. No, I'm Revan. You might know who Revan is. They knew who Revan was. Hi, you are Revan. The Council wishes to speak with you. You may enter. Okay, we've got some straight answers. Good, right decision. So, don't mind me, just coming in. Who are you guys precisely? I may have slightly forgotten, sorry about that. Here we go, and aha! You guys are a bit on the different side. I'm guessing the colour represents some form of caste system or something. So, uh, we didn't expect to see you again, Revan. We thought you'd betrayed us. Why have you returned to our village? Um, okay, I'm really sorry... I can't remember any of what might have happened the first time. So, if you could fill me in, that'd be just great, actually. Is this some kind of test? Some kind of trick? You came seeking our aid. You came searching for a way to enter the Temple of the Ancients. Yes, and I assume I did, but now I don't remember. You claim to be seeking a way to destroy the Starforge. We were foolish enough to believe you. Unaware of your true nature, we helped you enter the Temple. 
Okay, you know what the Starforge is. You are definitely the descendants of the Slave Masters who kind of got left behind, aren't you? You betrayed us. Instead of destroying the terrible legacy of our ancestors, you unleashed the evil of the Starforge upon an unsuspecting galaxy. And now you stand before the Council of the Elders once more, and once more we ask you, for what reason have you returned, Raven? Okay, I'm really sorry. I don't actually remember any of that. And, you know... Probably I should just kill you all right now, and then go back to the other place and kill them too, but I kind of want answers, and you seem to be the best bet for giving me some straight answers. They say the experiences of our past define us and make us what we are. If it is true you've lost your memories, perhaps you are changed. How are we to know this is not some trick, Revan? Honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna prove it to you. Um, okay, I'm a servant of the light. Oh, they're not gonna fall for that one. Alright, I look very blatantly evil. So, I want to make amends. And now I'm Bang Blitzman, not Revan. And I'm the Dark Lord Reborn. Bow before me. Kind of want to say that. Not gonna lie, kind of appeals. How about we just say, I'm so sorry I tried to take over the Star Forge last time. Um, definitely won't be doing it again. Would you mind opening the temple, like, a second time? And we sent you mean the words you speak. Oh, you guys are not good at spotting falsehoods then. Got it. Words are easy to say. It is actions that prove things. Okay, well, I've killed some uh, Rancor. Does that count? Recently, several of our scouts were captured by the one. Most of them were brutally slaughtered. We have information that one of the scouts is still alive. They'll use torture to force the scout to reveal everything he knows about our tribe. And once the one is done with him, the scout will be executed like the others. He'll probably be eaten, actually, from what I've heard. So, yes. Okay. Got it. You want him rescued, I see. Rescue our scout, and we'll consider helping you. Okay, so we might have to go and murder the Rakata. Gotcha. Okay, let's just see how they respond to us killing the one and the Rakata. Whether they're like, oh god, no, don't do that, or whether they're happy with that. So, we'd prefer it if you could find some way to save the prisoner without bloodshed, but we don't believe that'll be possible. The one does not like to negotiate. Okay, so this is the point where we start murdering. Got it. Yeah, they know what's what. So, the generator inside the temple fuels the disruptor field. So, get in there with these guys' help, and then we can just turn it off. Marvellous. And they've got a keeper of history too. Okay, I'm guessing their version of events is going to make a lot more sense. So, these guys are the elders. Their ancestors were priests. Okay, not slave masters. Uh, priests. After the warlords unleashed their weapons of mass destruction and devastated the world, our ancestors knew we could never allow such technology to be used again. We sealed the knowledge of destruction within the temple, and for the past thousand generations, we have kept vigil here, ensuring the knowledge does not fall into the wrong hands. If you wish to know more, speak to the Keeper of History. Okay, now this is starting to make sense. These guys weren't just, you know, abandoned here, they chose to stay here. They basically saw what the Infinite Empire did, and were like, no, that was a bit dickish. You keep blasting planets, don't approve. So they sealed away the weapons, or maybe, in fact, yes, set up the uh, the disruptor field. So anyone who came to find the Star Forge would crash instead. And maybe you guys intentionally allowed the Rakata, the ones outside, to stay nice and barbarian and cannibalistic, because if anyone comes here, they murder them. This might have all worked very nicely, insofar as making sure no one ever found the Star Forger. If they did, they never escaped. Okay, this is starting to make a bit more sense. And that's the reason they don't just wipe these guys out, even though they've got the technology to do so. They basically, yes, exist because they don't want weapons of war to be used to slaughter innocents, just like their ancestors did. So as a result of that... Yeah, they're not going to use their technology, the stalemate. But equally, the one can never get in here. There's no chance whatsoever. Though, I'm kind of curious, yeah, if I was to attack them, what they'd have on them. Because it sounds like they're pretty advanced. But then again, advanced by the standards of uh, local tribes and 20,000 years ago. Not necessarily versus me. Ah, and one of the crucial bit of information here... We can't enter the temple ourselves, we don't have the power of the force, but you can with our help. Okay, so yes, this might be that plague that happened so long ago. It might have caused them to lose their connection 
to the Force. And if this temple needs the Force to function, they built an entire empire out of... Oh. They weaponized the Force, but then they lost their connection to it. And all of a sudden, all their most big powerful super weapons don't work anymore. The empire they kept subjugated rises up against them. They use some more conventional weapons, like nuclear weapons, to glass a couple of planets, but the writing's on the wall. At that point, you've lost your agricultural worlds, all your slave worlds, all your labour. Yeah, things were going to completely fall apart in the 10 to 20 years the other tribe mentions. And yes, to confirm I'm no longer gaining experience, so fine, I'm capped out to a level 7 scoundrel and level 13 Jedi Consular. My friends, however, they can still gain a bit of experience, so that's nice. And yes, indeed, they've got themselves some lovely droids and whatnot. Good, you guys have got robots. Also, I've discovered a series of gongs, which if you interact with them... Gong! Quite quietly for gongs, to be honest, but still, that's nice. Oh, and um, when they say, yeah, the other guys have taken prisoners... You guys have taken prisoners too, got it. Still, you, researcher who may or may not be engaging in, uh, torture, let's have a quick chat. Here we go. In our distant past, we melded technology in the Force to create truly wondrous effects. We guided ships across the galaxy using our power and incorporated its use into all aspects of our society. But then something happened uh, somewhere. So, okay, what was it? There are a variety of theories on what happened. Uh, perhaps we became immune to the effects of the Force from overuse. Perhaps our breeding habits rendered our species insensitive to it over time. None truly know. The only discernible result is we could no longer command the Force as we once had. Its power had escaped us. Okay, with its loss, our technologies could no longer hold us as far above the subjugated races that we ruled, and our empire began to crumble. Yes, indeed. Ah, there's the plagues. Good. So subjugation, plague, etc. In the end, uh, only the members of our race left here on our homeworld uh, survived. Oh, this is your homeworld. Sorry, my mistake. Thought this was just another colony. Ah, but every so often, there is the odd person who shows up who can use the force. I'm guessing the one is one of them. That's why he was able to, you know, unite all the islands and whatnot. Yeah, this guy wants to see the one. Not a corpse, a living, working body. If I could bring these guys the one, they might be able to restore their own force sensitivity over time. Interesting. But he's not actually asking me to do that, instead he's just asked me to, yes, grab some information from inside the temple. Archives, scrolls, something of that nature. Even a computer if I could find one. So yeah, long-term goal, find enough member of the Rakata who do have the Force trait, or ancient data that would give you more information to work with, and try and reintroduce it into your species, which is a little bit eugenics-y, buddy, so okay. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe the safest thing is just to kill absolutely everybody, like everybody in both camps, just for safety. So yeah, we've got the Keeper at the very back here, and on top of that... A computer. Right, Chewie, you're good with the old computers, but for the time being, there's all looting to be done. Seriously, these guys have just got some good stuff on them. I see no reason not to bleed them dry. Okay, let's start with a nice chat to the Keeper. See what we can get out of you. Okay, so confirmation what the researcher was just saying there. Yeah, previously they could move around with super force-powered ships, but then they had to go back to more conventional technology, and indeed more conventional weaponry, and they couldn't hold it all together. And this little cell of Rakatan at the bare minimum, yeah, considered that what they did, the enslavement, all of that, was bad. So they're determined not to do that again, alright? Empire was built on slaughter, they've realised a bad thing, don't let's happen again, maybe rebuild smaller, more benevolent empire. And then, yes, there was mention of warlords, so there was basically a full civil war. Terrible weapons of mass destruction were unleashed, driving most of the Rakata far below the earth for shelter. So, the people who were losing everything started a massive civil war, plenty of folks ended up hiding underground. And then a few thousand years ago, yeah, some of them started emerging, but they were now very basic in terms of technology, culture, etc. Gotcha. Ah, but even this guy can't fill in the blanks on the Starforge. Built at the height of the Infinite Empire long ago, all we know now is that it casts a terrible shadow across our world. 
presumably both figuratively and literally, depending on its position in space. So, they want to destroy it for many generations to cleanse ourselves of its evil presence. We have neither knowledge nor the capability. So, even with your technology, you can't do that on this side of the beach. Gotcha. Other than that, nothing much else, to be honest. Pretty much what we already knew, so... Okay, Chewie, you're good with the old uh, computers. Uh, what have we got here, potentially? Oh, okay, I'm non racketer That's true. So, approved servants. All right, apparently slaves can't... Okay, let's not be using the slave word. I thought you guys were, you know, trying to make amends here. And... Uh, I do serve the Rakta. How else would I learn the language? Yes, because I can speak Prothean, which is marvellous, because I was exposed to the beacon on Eden Prime. And uh, logical. Speaks the language. Therefore, good. Good, good, good. I can access the computer. Marvellous. Oh, and I've got the codes. Okay, so I don't need to actually bother, because I've just stolen the codes. Right, sorry. I didn't mean to steal the codes, but now I've got the codes. Um... I really hope you guys are okay with this, because I didn't really mean to do that. Ah, but more specific information here. The shield constructed by the elders to guard the temple is controlled from the summit of the structure. Anyone inside the temple may temporarily shut down the shield. So if I'm already inside, then I wouldn't need to shut down that. Okay, fine. It's all fine. Ritualistic chant. Apparently you've already told me what it is, so great. Well, possibly anyway, because... We just said you were giving me access to the temple, but I don't know whether I know the chant. Or like, you know, I'd get the intonation right or something. Okay, well I think I know what I need to do now. I need to go and get their scout back, or possibly I can just bypass that and go straight in. Now I've hacked that computer, or rather like, you know, lied to a hologram or whatever. No, I can't bypass it. I think I need them to actually do the, uh, the singing. So I know how to do it, but I can't do it myself. Oh, uh-oh. I feel like trouble is, uh... A brewing. We have seen you, Interloper. You're a servant of the Elders. By order of the One, you must die. Okay. Um. I mean, I kind of feel like there should have been some form of a pacifist solution to deal with the possibility of you playing a nice person. But okay, I didn't need that to be honest. I was planning to murder the One anyway. So screw you. You've just made a really, really big mistake of the enemies you've picked to mess with. Right, everybody get yourself a little bit of a buff. I just need to back off for a second while I'm just uh, taking out some of you bastards. Then, oh, there's several of them. Okay, I need to I need to get around the back of them. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, I just need to get some distance between me and the rest of you. Uh, you need to die, actually. No, no, no. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, there's several of you. Oh, there's, oh, there's so many. There's so many. Okay, I need to help out my friends. And Oh, is Chewie down? Chewie might be a bit down. Um, Jahani, you've got yourself some... Oh, no, Chewie's not... Is Chewie down yet? Chewie, could you try and help yourself? Oh, I'm a bit worried about Chewie. Um, you, I need you to start dropping some... No, heels down over here, John. You know how this works. Um, need you to drop some heels into all of this, actually. Just keep yourself nice and healthy for now. I need to start shooting these guys in the, in the back. And then over to here. Okay, some of these guys going, oh, this is... I'm gonna be honest, this is going less, less good than what I was... Why are you running? Why are you running over? No! Just... Okay, this is, this is fine. Just shoot you. You're dead, right? Okay, now shoot you. Right, shoot him in the back. Shoot him in the back and... Okay, I think Jahani's dead as well, actually. Okay, um, so everybody's everybody's dead at this point. Just need to give myself a bit of a. Okay, uh, I need to I need to give myself. Oh, this isn't working. Uh, okay, this this is all got. Don't shoot, just heal. Oh bloody hell! Right, that you know the rancor's hitting me too hard. Um, ha 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 ha. Okay, uh, top up. No, I need you to not shoot. I need you to just do the. Sp Never mind. Let's try that again. Okay, small problem here. I'm sorry, Chewie, but your poor defense means you're kind of falling behind here. So uh, we're going to remove you, and uh, I need crowd control. I'm bringing in Jolie. All right, Jolie is spectacular at crowd control, and it means we're going to have an extra force user and a very good healer. So, uh, Jolie, let's get you leveled up a little bit, buddy. Give him some improved toughness. That's never gonna hurt. And uh, yes, 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 yes. You've already got yourself insanity. Insanity is great. Insanity is really good. Also, John, you've got crowd control now. You've got 
Probably should have used False Storm, to be honest. Right, okay. Death Field as well. That's good crowd control. I kind of want to give this guy, yeah, the ability to do crowds. Crowds would be good. Uh, any chance you can... Yeah, that's Mass Stasis, which is pretty good. Uh, and then he's got Mass Drain Their Health, which is also pretty good. So we're going to give him that. That there. That's marvellous, except and that's all we got. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This time, we're going to use all our special magic super abilities, aren't we? Also, I do find it a bit odd that they, you know, loudly yell, We saw you speaking to the other people, you utter bastards, when, like... Wasn't that, like, specifically what they wanted me to do? They wanted me to go to the other camp. Well, they wanted me to kill the other camp, I guess. But, like, I could be coming back to give you the information that you wanted right now. But, okay. Okay, Jolie. This is where we start getting into you. I want you to insanity all of these guys. And I want you to buff the entire flipping team. And I want you to activate Force Storm. Now this is going to be... Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the stuff right over there. That's the flipping stuff. Okay, now we got ourselves a flipping party. Activate, no. No, no, no. More Force Storm, please. More Force Storm. And... Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. More lightning. More lightning. Unlimited flipping power. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. No, don't use your guns. Just shoot lightning out of your hands. This is, this is too hilarious not to do. Then just take you out and... Okay, um... So I should have got over to Force Lightning a little bit earlier. Oh, this is... Oh, this is hilarious. Oh, this is... This is wonderful. Yes, yeah, screw you, you stupid bastards. Screw you over there too. And by the way, I'm just going to shoot you with lightning. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ah, ha, 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 Oh, you're going to regret attacking me. And just so we are all abundantly flipping clear, like... I did not start this, all right? We all saw this. I didn't start this at all, okay? Me, I just wanted to be best friends and something, something. Okay, maybe not so much. Now we're shooting them in the back. That's that's a bit more morally dubious in a way. Uh, yep, just shoot that one. How on earth did you dodge all of that? I don't know, but you did. Okay, so at this point, we're just, um, we are just shooting them. And they don't seem to be... Okay, we're getting a bit close to genocide at this point, guys, because some of these guys don't seem to be fighting fighting back anymore. So, I mean, I feel like we could, we could give them the option to surrender at this point. Or we could just zap them with lightning. That works too. Okay, so yes, it, it's genocide. It's genocide at this point. So, sorry about that. You guys just keep them busy. I'll just shoot them in the back and occasionally zap them with my force light. I was about to use my force lightning. I feel flipping robbed at this point. Sorry, I need to go take out your um, historian around the other side. Can't leave anybody alive. Okay, the important thing is, if I'm going to genocide, then you genocide everybody. That way nobody knows you did it. Right, few more shots for you, but no, 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 no. Not just the warriors, but the lawmasters and the civil servants and the other bureaucrats. Screw you, zappity zap. Have anything good on you, by the way? No, didn't have anything good on you. Okay, well, any chance we didn't ransack all of this last time? No, I've already ransacked. Okay, so we've done the looting, now we do the murder. Gotcha. Oh, now here comes the big stuff. And also, hang on, am I... I'm actually doing it. Did I just actually shoot lightning out of my gun? I swear I just shot lightning out of my gun. I think we've finally done it. I think we finally got to what I always wanted. I think I've started shooting lightning out of my... Hang on. Just, just check the animation here. Check the animation here. So, I'm actually doing it. I'm shooting lightning out of my gun. I said right at the beginning of this run, what I wanted to do was shoot lightning out of a gun. And I am doing it. Damn it, I am actually flipping doing it. All of my dreams have come true. Always pursue your dreams, ladies and gentlemen. All right, if you want to shoot lightning out of a gun, you chase that dream and one day maybe it'll come true. Oh, we're going into his doom arena. Okay, the Black Racketer shall never fall to you. I'm gonna be honest, um, I would have... I mean, okay, I probably wouldn't have helped you. I would have betrayed you eventually, but like, it didn't need to be right this second. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Jolie, get a bit of insanity. 
on these lads. Alright, uh, are we currently powered up, by the way? No, we're not powered up. Right, you just power us up for a second. As for me, I need anyone who's standing close enough together. You're not really standing close enough together, so I'm going to go for a kill as a starting point. And, okay, now we can just take out the one in a single round. So, yep, the one's dead, so that's a bit unfortunate. Now we just take you out over there. So, I mean, there's some fighting going on over there, lovely. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, one of them's coming for me over there. Excuse me, and... Oh, oh, you're standing close together now. Okay, never mind. You're all standing close together. You're all standing close together. You're all standing close together. Let them come in. Let them flipping come in. It's time. It's time for me to just shoot... No, not, not the guns. Not the guns. Shoot lightning out of gun forever. This is now everything to me. Just keep zapping them. Keep zapping them. I think Jolie might be dead, but... I'm not sure I care. You oh, I care a little bit because I needed him to tank for me. Uh, okay, maybe activate speed and don't know why I'm shooting, but okay. I think I can pull this off and now go, 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 go. Does anyone know where um, the rest of them are? Okay, now just start shooting from range. Dead and dead. Are we good? Okay, that was a little bit tougher than I thought, but um, good. Jolie's back up. That means we're fine. Does so anyone know where the other guy was? Ooh, ship parts, in case I missed them last time. Love lane. Aha, and there's the Elder. So, we're gonna play ball with him for now. But to be honest, we might go and destroy the Elders in a moment. Nope, literally no option to... Oh, bloody hell, his pathfinding went a bit bananas there. Okay, literally no option to kill him yet. So that's fine, there's another 1,000 XP. Okay, back over to the other camp and... Uh, okay, so, um... Force Lightning is my new friend, okay? Friendship with Kill ended. Now Force Storm is my best friend. Here we go. So, I'm back. Our scout said you rescued him. Marvelous. We're very grateful. Right, pop open the temple, and I promise I will not genocide you. Ooh, okay. They'll let me in, but... Okay, I need to enter alone. Right, so I'm very glad I've now got crowd control powers in the form of Force Lightning. Otherwise, uh, problems. Yeah, I'm guessing this is an ancient ritual of some description. We will not defile the sacred ritual a second time. Ah, you let me go in with Malik last time and it didn't work out well for you. Okay, fair enough, I suppose. Uh, I was able to deal with the tomb on Korriban. I think I can deal with this. Ooh, problem though. It's not gonna be just me in there. There's gonna be Dark Jedi. Right, I'm guessing... They're the old, uh, yeah, pupils and followers of Revan and Malik back in the day. So, yeah, apparently I set up a little bloody Dark Sith colony back there. Marvellous. Ah, hang on, the controls were mentioned. That's why they were mentioned. So once you had Dark Sith inside, they could let in their friends. Gotcha. Oh, and here they are already waiting for me. So, okay, they're going to do a nice little sing-song. Lovely, and they won't do the ritual with anyone else here. Okay, fair enough. Part selection. Guys, naff off back to the ship. They actually mean it. Gotcha. So, okay. Move into position. We good? Because as you can see, I am now alone. Okay, we got ourselves some chanting. So, come on. Get that door down. I'm ready. I'm flipping ready, alright? I can now kill people with plague and kill. If it's a crowd, I can zap them with lightning and... Guys, I... No. No, I just I just sent you guys away. Look, I have to do this. It's the bloody tradition. We have had a, a premonition. The Force has given us a vision. There is great danger within the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. You might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malak himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with dark Jedi. You'll need all the help you can get. No others can go into the temple. You must enter alone. That is the way of the ancient ritual. Guys, seriously, it's fine. Jolie, you can't come. I need to do this by myself, okay? It's a big moment for me as a hero. I need to go in by myself and take care of this without help. So, naff off. So, yeah, Jolie, you can't come. And what you're saying right now is probably, like, super mega offensive to the Elders. So, you're kind of lucky they're not trying to kill us right now. Your destiny may be the fate of the entire galaxy. Could be forever changed inside that temple. Not about to let you face that alone. Not after my premonition. There's a reason I had that vision. Jolie speaks for both of us. You must enter the temple 
but we must go with you. So you just tell that guide of yours to do whatever he has to do to get us all inside the temple. Okay, I'm not a hundred percent keen on this. Actually, this feels, yes, very unfair to the poor elders who have been trying to help me and I'm just going to basically screw their bloody ritual over. So, I mean, continue. Apparently, I have no option but to go and by myself, which I'm going to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed about. I was looking forward to, you know, proving I could do this by myself. They have to come with me or lower the shield or I'm cutting you into pieces. Oh, this feels a little bit on the... Okay, let's go for the evil option. Sure, I will slice you into pieces if you don't do what the old guy says. And uh, I'll do as you command. Okay, that was nice and easy. I feel like I might have burnt some bridges here, though. Not exactly the way I would have handled it, but given the circumstances, it'll do. Look, you're the bloody one who came in here saying, hey, let's disrespect their ancient tradition. Screw you! Why do I get the feeling this is going to take a while? Still, we better stay ready. As soon as those shields go down, we have to get inside the temple. Okay, and once more, the ice magic opens the way, and we're going inside. And I've kind of... Oh, hang on. First... Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience, Commander. My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastion adjoins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds, and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malak. Has anyone actually ever said what actually, like, cut off his chin? Because I don't think it was me, because we were still friends when he betrayed me, so... Not 100% sure, like, you know, what happened to his chin. Presumably something happened to his chin, but I don't actually know what it was, so... Okay, we're in, we got ourselves a big ass temple here and we've got all sorts of little branching passageways, doors, all the rest of it. And I feel pretty comfortable with this team, so okay, I'm guessing at this point we can't, no, I can't change it. Okay, good, I'm kind of glad I changed out to Jolie from Chewy. Chewy was not doing the flipping job and now I'm kind of trapped in here, so okay, I've got a pretty solid team with me. Right here, and apparently we're going in with everybody. All right, so oh, this place is a bit of a bit of a mess. We've also got oh, we got ourselves. No, that's a window. I thought that was a force field. And wait, there's a window. There's a cocking window. There's a window right here that anyone could just climb into at any flipping. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I feel like oh, I feel like I've also just started something. Okay, I've started something a bit bigger than than I meant to to start it. Zap them with lightning. That works pretty well against robots. Oh yeah, that works well against robots. Yeah, screw you, buddy. Screw you, and then zap him some more, and down you go. Okay, this is this is fine. Everything's under control, and apparently they've set up a little. Okay, there's there's going to be uh there's going to be bad things in here. We could seriously have just climbed in the window, couldn't we? If we just brought a ladder and gone round to this side, we could have just... Right, well, that was all pointless. Apparently, yes, it's either the ancient Rakata ritual, which only they can perform, or, alternatively, you just need a bloody ladder. One or the other. I feel like we could have gone with the ladder, but what the flip ever, I suppose. Still, I would say, ladies and gentlemen... That is enough for now. We have managed to make it past the Rakata. We now understand, yeah, what's actually going on in the galaxy and on this planet in particular a lot better. I think we now understand, yeah, plenty of the, uh, the backstory. And now it feels like we're pretty much ready for our final flipping trial. We need to get our way through this temple, get to the top in order to turn off the uh, generator, the disruptor field, all the rest of it. And then the Starforge, Malik, and I'm guessing, yeah... Potentially me versus Malik and Bastila 2v1. But I feel more ready for it now. Alright, I can drain their force powers. I can toss glue at them. I can shoot them with a gun. I can shoot lightning out of said gun. It's going to be fine. 
it's going to be just flipping great. So hopefully you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been Jonas, has been many a true nerd, and this has been Knights of the Old Republic. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, wait, and flamethrower! 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 Okay, so this is... This is definitely morally questionable. The point where you start singing the flamethrower song, potentially, you've gone over the line.